Welcome back to New Day Northwest. You know, here at our show, we love all the amazing shows that are at the Fifth Avenue Theater. One that recently caught our attention is a unique take on 1776, a musical. It's about the events leading up to the signing of the Declaration of Independence. Now here with a performance of The Egg is the cast of 1776. It's a masterpiece, I say. They will cheer every word, every letter. I wish I felt that way. I believe I can put it better. Now then attend, as friend to friend, our declaration committee. For us I see immortality in Philadelphia City. A farmer, a lawyer, and a sage, a bit gouty in the leg. <laughs> you know it's quite bizarre to think that here we are, playing midwives to an egg. Egg? What egg? America, the birth of a new nation. If only we could be sure what sort of a bird it was going to be. Tom's got a point. What sort of bird should we choose as the symbol of our new America? The eagle. The dove. The turkey. The eagle. The dove. The eagle. The eagle. The turkey. The eagle is a majestic bird. The eagle is a coward, a scavenger, a thief, and the symbol of more than 10 centuries of European mischief. And the turkey... A truly noble bird, a native of America, a source of sustenance to our settlers, and an incredibly brave fellow who would not flinch from attacking an entire regiment of Englishmen single-handedly. Therefore, the national bird of America is going to be... The eagle! The, the eagle. eagle. We're waiting for the chirp, chirp, chirp of an eaglet being born. Waiting for the chirp. Mm -hmm. Chirp. Chirp. On this humid Monday morning in this uh, congressional incubator. God knows the temperature's hot enough to hatch a stone, let alone an egg. We're waiting for the scratch. 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 Of that tiny little fellow. Waiting for the egg, egg to hatch. hatch. On this humid Monday morning in this congressional incubator. God knows the temperature's hot enough to hatch a star. But will it hatch an egg? Well, the declaration will be a triumph. I tell you, a triumph. If I was ever sure of anything, I am sure of that. A triumph. And if it isn't, well, we still got four days left to think of something else. It's a masterpiece, I say. They will cheer every word, every letter. It's a masterpiece, I say. They will cheer every word, every letter. Yes, so we can tell, tell, tell on this human Monday morning in this congressional incubator. And just as Tom here is written, we say to hell with Great Britain, the eagle inside belongs to us. The eagle inside belongs to us. Oh, oh my goodness! <laughs> that was so fun, and I mean, filled me with pride. <laughs> yes. Specifically, though, because y'all were singing it. Oh, thank you. I want you to meet everyone. I'm joined, joined now by Gisela Adisa, uh, who is playing John, John Adams. Adams. That's right. Uh, Nancy Anderson is playing Thomas Jefferson. Correct. And, of course, Liz Michael is playing Benjamin Franklin. Yes. <laughs>
So that's a fun song, talking about kind of what imagery, but the, the congressional incubator, that's hilarious. Mm -hmm. oh, I yeah. love this. <laughs> so tell us about the show. What makes this prediction different than others? What makes this production different than other uh, revivals that may have happened in the past with 1776, yeah. which was written a very long time ago uh, in the late 60s, yeah. in the oh. late 60s. Mm -hmm. uh, so what makes it different is it's a challenge to kind of dust off this book and make it present and modern. Yeah. But we've done that by simply including bodies that weren't in the room where it happened. Mm -hmm. um, we are women, we are non-binary, we are trans, we are African-American, Caribbean-American, we are African-American, we are Caucasian, we are indigenous, we're from all over. We're yeah. from the spectrum of humanity that wasn't considered, maybe even considered human. Mm -hmm. So that's what makes it really unique. And for me personally, taking this job was so exciting because we get to be a little bit of ourselves. Like yeah. Nancy gets to, if she chooses, have some of Nancy Anderson in her Thomas Jefferson. Yeah. Liz gets to have elements of Liz and her essence and her pizzazz in her Ben Franklin. And yeah. I get to I get to wear my hair as is uh, John Adams, which is just great for me personally. That's that's like not having to fit this in a wig. Is uh, sign me up. Sign <laughs> seriously, you know. And I love that you get to bring your personalities on stage. Uh, Nancy, what's the best part of working on the show? Um, I would say that it is uh, really hearing um, the ideas of our um, founding fathers mm -hmm. in a in a more modern way, and to to really understand that this foundation document, this sort of origin story of our country, has an immediacy and a, um, a uh, it's, it has a contemporary feel to mm -hmm. it. And the, the idea being that um, it's a living document and it's our job to keep this great American experiment rolling. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. and, and, and by learning new things yeah. and, and showing that to our children, which I think is going to be, this is going to be a great show to, to give. But we have a little bit of time left and I just want to ask you, Liz, what do you hope folks take away from this production. I hope that all Americans take away pride in watching Americans dare to tell this story of the creation of our country. Man, you make me emotional. <laughs> you <laughs> you love that. Liz Michael for the win. Oh, I love that. Oh my gosh. Thank you all so much for Thank taking you. the time this morning and it's sharing your pleasure. talent with us. And of course, be sure to head to Fifth Ave's website for a schedule of all the amazing shows that they have going on there.